The slope of a line tells us two things about that line. It tells us whether it's steep or shallow and whether it runs up to the right or down to the right. Informally, the formula for slope is described as rise over run. Formally, we say that slope equals the change in the y value for each change in x. In other words, every time that a line moves one unit to the right, how many units does it move up or down? Let's take a look at an example of calculating slope. Let's find the slope of a line that runs between the point 0, negative 1, and the point 4, 1. To do this, we have to calculate the change in y value and the change in x value between these two points. Notice that there is a difference of 2 between the y values, from minus 1 to 1, and a difference of 4 between the x values, from 0 to 4. Using the formula, 1 minus negative 1 equals 2, that's the change in y, over 4 minus 0 equals 4, that's the change in x, gives us 2 fourths, or 1 half. So the slope of this line is 1 half. Let's take a look at some different kinds of slopes. Lines with positive slope run up to the right. Lines with negative slope run down to the right. Lines with zero slope are horizontal. Lines with undefined slope are vertical. A line that makes a 45 degree angle with both the x and y axis and has positive slope has slope one. Lines that are steeper have a slope greater than one. And lines that are less steep have a slope between zero and one. If a line has negative slope and makes 45 degree angles with the x and y axis, it has slope negative 1. Lines that are steeper have slope less than negative 1, such as negative 2. Lines that are less steep have slope between 0 and negative 1, such as negative 1 half. 